Many people focus on 215 because it relates to our ability to search telephone records that are held in bulk by the government. Um, the reforms proposed by the administration and so far codified in, in the USA Freedom Act would essentially take the government out of the data collection and storage process, let it remain in the hands of, of the private companies, and we would go to, a, go to court, obtain an order, and query that. But in addition to that particular provision, the important provisions of 215 that we also worry about are the ability to obtain what are called roving wiretaps on terrorism and national security subjects. In every investigation that I have ever done as a prosecutor, be it criminal or national security, the, the targets of that investigation routinely drop their electronic communication devices regularly specifically to avoid law enforcement surveillance. We now have the ability to go to the FISA court and obtain an order with probable cause to track terrorists who do that. That provision will expire. We also have the ability to go to the FISA court and obtain general business records, such as bank records and other documents, again, in relation to national security investigations, similar to the way we use the criminal investigative uh, authority. That provision will expire. So that is part of what, what, what is uh, animating my concern over 215.